All right, new standard, new standard, new standard. And uh, what's that mean? It's time for our update to our Saram Auras deck. Uh, we debuted this deck a while ago. Five would league with it. Uh, it was pretty popular. People liked it a lot. And uh, I updated it for Dominaria. Now we're updating it for M19, Corset 2019. And um, as with Dominaria, some pretty cool new additions. Dominaria gave us uh, Knight of Grace. And uh, Roptimus Prime, new sub. Prime, what's your name? Where you're from? How long you've been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Puppy name, please. Yeah, so uh, Dominaria gave us uh, Knight of Grace. And um, we were playing uh, On Sarah's Wings. I'm not playing that one anymore. And now M19 gives us some new cards as well. For those unfamiliar with the deck, this is a blue-white sort of tempo beatdown deck uh, based around... Essentially, Saram, a senior edificer. Whenever you play an aura, equipment, or vehicle, you draw a card. And then built around uh, durable creatures and auras, basically. So we have Adanto Vanguard, one of the best cards in the deck, which is uh, almost impossible to kill. And a uh, great, great target for auras. And then we have Knight of Grace. Can't really kill it with black removal spells, obviously, which is pretty good. Hard to block with first strike. Um... And what do we put on? We put on cards like Curious Obsession, which is one of the best cards in the deck. Um, plus one plus one. Whenever it deals damage, you draw a card, which is insane. Cartouche Solidarity, plus one plus one in First Strike, and gives you a token. And then Cartouche of Knowledge, plus one plus one, and Flying. So, very cheap deck. Not a standard mana curve. Usually, standard mana curves are like, you know, a very few ones, a good number of twos, a good number of threes, a good number of fours, some fives, maybe some sixes. This is a very modern-esque mana curve. Uh, a bunch of ones, a bunch of twos, and 20 lands. Um, so what do we get from the new set? Two big ones. Uh, one of the biggest ones here is Novice Knight. Now, one of the problems this deck had when Dominaria came out was Goblin Chain Whirler was pretty good against us. Um, we had a lot of X ones in our deck. Um, you know, two ones for one, Danto Vanguard, Creature Tokens, etc., etc. And um, Knight of Grace helped solve that a little bit, but... Sky Marcher Aspirant, while a really, really good card in most scenarios, um, it's bad against Chain Whirler. So what do we get? We get Novice Knight. This is a 2-3 for 1 mana, which is obviously insane. Has Defender. Less insane. But if it's enchanted or equipped, it doesn't have Defender anymore. I mean, could they make a card more better suited for this deck? Probably not. So you can put a Curiosity on this... Uh, this um, this card on turn two and attack for three and draw a card. Once it gets past three toughness, which any aura will make it get past, pretty hard to kill. Uh, can't abrade it, can't lightning strike it, and so on and so forth. Um, so this card seems great. Uh, very excited about this card. I was even playing a uh, Snubhorn Sentry for a while because the, the high toughness mattered. This card seems great. Uh, we're down to two Sky Marcher Aspirants. It's still a really good card, but it's just a huge liability against Chain Whirler. So, the other new card we're adding is a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. Four mana Planeswalker, four loyalty. The plus one is put a plus one, plus one counter on up to two target creatures, which is very good. You know, we're all about buffing our creatures and uh, making them into bigger threats. Minus two, return a creature card with a converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, which is every creature in our deck. Most important ones being Saram. And then minus seven, win win the game, basically. Uh, get an emblem. Every turn, you make three, three life linkers. I guess it doesn't actually win the game, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty fast to get there, too. So very, very durable. Um, it's cool. I like it. Uh, we were playing on Sarah's Wings in this slot, but I think that a Johnny just seems very good, very durable. Just a powerful card. It's important to have synergy in your deck. It's also important to have raw power, too. And a Johnny does that. Sideboard is mostly the same. Um, we have our negates and spell pierces against control matchups. Uh, Miss Deck has a very good control matchup post board. Negate and spell pierce. We've got one authority of the consoles for mono red because we are adopting a new card in mono red. Uh, Fragmentize to kill artifacts and enchantments. Thopter arrest if you need to kill some creatures. Same with baffling end. Gideon for control matchups also. New card here is shield mare. So shield mare is. Um, a pretty awesome new card from a new, from a new set. 2-3. Can't be blocked by red creatures. When it comes into play, you gain 3 life. And whenever it becomes a target of a spell or ability your opponent controls, you gain 3 life again. So, 
Earthshaker Kenra, game three. Oncar Pressure, game three. Lightning Strike this, game three. So, sweet card. Is it better than Aether Sphere Harvester? I think so. There's so many abrades around. But um, I'm not sure. We're going to try it out. It's a new card. Um, that's the deck. It looks pretty sweet. And I'm ready to roll. We got... Uh, we played a, a Goblin deck in Standard in our previous league. I went 1-4. Uh, it wasn't very good. But the video's on YouTube. You can check it out if you'd like to. It was fun. But, uh, yeah, something uh, needs a little work. But uh, we got three new subs in the last few minutes. We got Evan from Georgia. Uh, Evan's been playing for about six years. Favorite card is Spellqueller or Grizzlebrand. Favorite deck is Spirits or Grizzlebrand. Puppy named Cerebus. Cool. We got Tom from Melbourne, Australia. Awesome. Plankton's Kamigawa, favorite card. About to ask for a deck tech featuring it. Favorite deck, uh, Orzob, Martyr Proc, and Modern. Puppy name Regis, cool. And we got Nick from Central Illinois, Plankton's Shards. Only got serious around cons. Favorite card is Rocks, Warm Up. Favorite deck is tied between Abzan Midrange and Value Town. Good puppy name is Woodrow. Sweet. Awesome. Well, thanks to all my new subs. Appreciate that very, very much. Let's see if we can Saram Aura some people. All right, well, this is one of our, our good hands here. We prefer if this was a Glacial Fortress, but we can keep this pretty easily. We have Saram, we have Auras, we have Vanguard. This is great. Nicole, go away. I'll make the poll if I want to make the poll. No poll for this one. We're going to 5-0, though, for sure. All right, so we're going to skip Legion's Landing on turn one because I want to cast a Danto Vanguard. Who gave you the ability to make polls? All right, poll time. How many wins will this deck get in this league? Zero, one, two, three, four, or five. Cast your vote in chat. How many wins will this deck get in this league? Zero, one, two, three, four, or five. All right, we're gonna Vanguard. Um, I'm not really sure what our opponent's doing here, honestly. Just planes, planes, planes. We want to draw a land here. We didn't draw a land. Hmm. Okay. Seems good. This is good against Seal Away and stuff like that. But I want a Cartouche after Saram. I'm just going to attack and see what happens. Okay. I'm just going to cast Saram, I guess. Planes, planes, planes. They kept seven. So, all right. The results are in. Majority says we're going to go four and one in this league. I think we're going to five up, personally. All right. So, this is pretty great. Um, we're going to cartouche on Vanguard. Draw a card. We drew a land, which is cool. We're going to leave up. We're going to leave up dive down for sure. So, we're just going to attack. In water. Really no idea what our opponent's doing. Goblins went one and four. Uh, it was pretty unsuccessful. It was a fun experiment, but didn't really work. Not great is kind of an understatement, but... Ixalan's Binding. Yeah. Uh, all right. I'd say this game is probably over. Their first spell is a turn five, four mana spell that we're going to counter for one mana. So. Yeah. Okay. Close game. Uh, no idea what our opponent's playing. Could be some sort of like mono whitey control deck. I honestly have no idea. Uh, we're going to board some negates just to hedge. Uh, I think we can cut like maybe like two cartouche of knowledge for like two negates. And I'm going to cut the baffling ends for a Gideon and a third negate. I'm going to assume they're not playing many creatures. So we're going to kind of hedge against control-ish and see what happens for game two. Mono-white approach seems reasonable, yes. Some sort of mono-white deck. 
Um, uh, we'll find out. Beer Stewing and welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Saram Aura's update. M19 Fragmentize. I, I, we don't know how many artifacts or enchantments they're actually playing, you know, like... It's a little too narrow, I think. I mean, we're going to mulligan. Saram's Expertise and Slippery Scoundrel. I'm not, really, I'm not really into those cards. I mean, obviously we're going to mulligan this hand too, which kind of sucks. Alright. I mean... I've seen better, but the Goblin deck will be on YouTube soon. Not yet, of course, because I haven't gotten a chance to do it, but all right. They're playing some sort of blue-white control deck, so we our hedge is sort of good. Um, unfortunately, we mulligan the five here. Charter course? Maybe they're a God Pharaoh's gift deck? Okay, they're a God Pharaoh's gift deck. All right, so, okay. We get to Novice Knight and Legion's Landing. This is not bad. I mean, Obsession here is really, really good. Obsession. Champion's good, too. All right. I mean, if they have turn four refurbish here, we're probably just dead, honestly. Also, you draw the gate? No. That's pretty good, actually. Um, I guess we're not gonna. Yeah, yeah, we're just gonna hit the uh, cartouche and the vampire. And Novice Knight seems very, very good. Don't refurbish. Obviously they refurbish. Couldn't tap their lands fast enough. Okay. Uh, this is going to be exceedingly difficult to win. Inspiring Cleric. <sighs> All right, so we're gonna double obsession so our knight can attack, and they probably have to chump block it. Press F to pay your respects to England. Did they lose or something? Football. We're trying. Uh, Goblins went one and four. It was pretty bad. How much worse would mono white or <sighs> mono white ores would be significantly worse. Um, this is one. Of, this is one of the best cards of the deck. All right. I mean, whatever. All right. So. We got Brown. We didn't know what they were playing. It's fine. Um, they're not playing Gate to the Afterlife. They're playing Refurbish. So we need our Spell Pierces and our Negates. I think Cartouche actually becomes somewhat more important now. Thopter Arrest also seems important. Uh, Gideon's got to go. Dive Down's got to go. I think Knight of Grace can get shaved. Actually, you know what? A Johnny seems not very good in this matchup. We're we're racing here. Bring that knight. Bring that knight back in here. Um, so now we have four negates and a spell pierce and two removal spells for actual God Pharaoh's gift. We should be in a reasonable shape here. Uh, a Johnny seems great, but not in this matchup. All right, this should be fine. Now we actually know what we're playing against. We should be all right. They kept a real loose one game one. Jeez. Oh, this hand is so medium. Authority of the Consoles is okay. It's not particularly exciting. 
Uh, I haven't even thought about Dallas. Eternal Madness, if it's like past a few weeks away, it hasn't even crossed my mind. This is a pretty tough one. We're, we're not really doing much here. We have a Grizzly Bear, a Vanguard, and a Cartouche in four lands. We have no interaction. We have no one drops. We have no Saram. We have no card draw. Um, I don't think we can keep this end. There are many, many better sixes. Um, like this second and third land just don't matter. I'm just going to mulligan. Obviously. This is better, so... Okay. Island is super awkward, but... Pretty frustrating, obviously. I mean, I would like to have uh, not mulliganed, but... Island is also kind of stinky here. Not a great start. Not a great start. We draw on a gate. We'll hopefully be okay. This card's been great, though. We're two games in or three games in. This card's been great. And our opponent is in the tank. Good time to remind everyone to hop on the old Twitter sphere. Make sure you give me a follow at Jimmy Davis MTG. Going for 10,000 followers for the year. Also, check out Team BCW, my squad, myself, Brennan, Todd, Tannen, and Ross. We're being in a beat. We're going to be at um, TJ Collectibles this Friday before SEG Worcester. Uh, come down 8 to 10 p.m. Me, Tannen, and Todd will be there. You can come down, say hi. It's free to play. You can challenge us to a game. And uh, if you win, you get a cool prize. Either way, you get a pack of. BCW Deck Guard Elite Sleeves, the fantastic sleeves that Team BCW uses. Again, this Friday, uh, TJ Collectibles in Milford uh, near SEG Worcester. Check it out at Team underscore BCW on Twitter. Check it out. Turn to chart a course. Discarding an island. That's good for us. Good spell. It's not a good spell. All right. I mean, we have a reasonable beatdown curve here, but we're not really doing much. Um, still, we are attacking. We'd love to draw. Champions, fine. As long as I don't discard a God Pharaoh's gift here, I think we're kind of okay. Angel of Sanctions negate. Okay. Okay. Um, we're sort of doing it. Legion's Landing. Team. Flip. Cool. I guess we are scared of the card Fumigate. We have no answer to that card currently. They're at eight. If we draw an aura, although we might have a chance to just kill them next turn, playing the novice knight here is it's tough. We have four negates and a spell pierce in our deck. If we draw any one of those cards next turn, I think we're fine. Um, I don't think that Novice Knight is going to help us if they have a Fumigate and can, can, can survive to cast it. So I'd rather just have a chance to kill them next turn. Well, obviously, if they just play a land as they go, we'll, we'll play around Settle. F6. I mean, we, we have a chance to win this game despite mulling it to 5 and our hand not being very good. So that's cool. Thanks for following uh, new followers. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow on there. We're just trying to aura some people, you know? 
Uh, choose your own LOLs. Um, the negates are just so much better than that. Fairgrounds Warden is kind of a tilt. New sub, Kithkin Knight, 123. Kithkin Knight, 123. What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Puppy name, please. That, that, that plays, you know? All right, so they have, they have the Fumigate. That sucks. All right. I mean... So, we want to make a token. I don't... I think we just cycle. I don't think one token's gonna win us the game here. Yeah, I mean, one negate, one spell pierce wins the game easily, but now nah, I think we're just super dead. We'll see. I mean, being aggro is required. We can't give them time. So. Like, now they can just cast Angel of Sanctions and things of that nature. Ooh, or, or that. That works, too. All right, now we're just dead. They just... Angel of Sanctions us. We have to draw Thopter Arrest next turn, or the game is over. Oh, it's Angel of Sanctions. I thought it was Angel of uh, Token Making Thingies. Oh, good timing. All right, whatever. All right, I mean, that's a rough one. Uh, the Mall of the Five there is not very kind to us. What are you going to do? Saramoras, if you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. 0-1. We got new cards here. We got a Johnny, Adversary of Tyrants. We got Novice Knight. We got Shield Mare. We're excited for M19. If you're excited for M19, raise your hand in chat, please. How did you get here? We entered a contest. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> Thanks for following. Now, Johnny seems very good in the main. Just like th that matchup specifically, like a combo matchup. Obviously, it's not very good in... History of Benalia is not really on synergy with this deck at all. Uh, that's a pretty awkward opener. I do want to see how good a Johnny is. Eh, I'm just going to keep it. Landing. Yeah, I guess it's fine. All right. Didn't really want to draw a land there. Looking for a two drop if possible, but all right. So we played against this Grixis deck like a number of times. This Grixis Nickel Bolas deck seems to be like the de facto like new best deck. I played white black mid range. No, this is my second league in new standard. Fatal push the novice knight. I think that's fine. I think I don't really care about that. It's not. It's not attacking at any point soon anyway. So I don't think I really care. And dive down is much better off to counter a Veracic and or something later. So uh, I mean, we're on a giant next turn. The giant seems pretty good. So magma spray. All right. If I'm not back in five minutes. All right, well... Just wait longer. Maybe I should have countered that. I just didn't even think they would have more spells. Saram? Saram's good. Do we... A Johnny now? If they have another removal spell, it kind of blows. Or do we... I guess we could just cast a Johnny and... Return the Novice Knight. That's, like, not great. Um... 
think I like the idea of getting a Johnny into play. Yeah, well, it's just a Johnny plus. Okay. I mean, it's annoying, but it is what it is. Now we have an Ajani in play. Let's play Saram next turn with Dive Down up. We can return Novice Knight if we draw an Aura. A lot of options, you know? No Nickel Bowls. This turn is nice. Aura? I love an Aura. Knight of Grace is great. That's a good one. Um... Now we're in the somewhat tough spot. We want to leave up Dive Down. We want to cast both creatures and pump them also. I think we're just going to play the, the Knight and pump it. And leave up a Dive Down. Okay. So, obviously, that's kind of shitty. Because they didn't have a removal spell. But, it's fine. Liliana, Death's Majesty. Okay. That's fine. They milled a Magma Spray and a Cast Down. Another Saram. We're also close to ultimating a Johnny, which is kind of sweet, so... And this, uh... I guess they they could have contempt. Johnny seems pretty good. Sorry, this is the first Johnny we've cast so far, and I'm pretty impressed, honestly. Deck tech to help build my pet car to home. Sweet. We'll be doing this one after the league. After the league, we'll do this one. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate it. Wandering bard. Thank you very much. Um, okay, I mean, we, uh, we're live here. I guess we're ultimating, right? Is it possible they have Disallow in the deck? I don't, I don't think you play Disallow and Liliana in the same deck. Um, If three cards in hand and six mana. If they had, give me. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure. Go ahead, disallow me. Sweet. Beginning of my end step, I get three one one cat life linkers every turn. If they had a gear hulk, they would have contempted it before we did it. So that doesn't make sense. So, we are going to attack Liliana again. That's cat time. Fatal push targeting Saram. Now, I don't even think this is worth protecting. It's even like in Saram anyway. This is fine. I'd rather save this dive down to save our knight uh, from like harness lightning or something like that. Liliana's ultimate is basically irrelevant. Things are about to get wild. I mean, the ultimate doesn't matter. Like, okay. Sure. There's always more. Like. Okay. Donation queue is currently off. Um, I'll be taking no more donation bonus stuff until after we move. There's just too much stuff going on. I mean, we draw, if we draw a spell, that'd be really cool too, but... I think it's Saram. That was lucky. Oh, they, they championed last time? That's pretty good. If we lose with this ultimate, I'm going to be pretty sad. I'm just saying. 
going to be pretty unhappy about it. But SRAM? I don't know. Whatever. Could have attacked and flipped landing, maybe, but I think we're gonna lose. Honestly, I don't know if we can like realistically beat like Scarab God. I must say, I, I, I do really dislike that Wizards pushes these like mid rangey strategies so hard all the time. Just like here's the best here's the best mythics, like here's your mid range stuff, just cast all your cards and win, you know, like it's just kinda lame. Alright, let's attack with everything I guess and flip this landing and gain some life and just die. Alright, um, there's no reason to cast anything, so, like, I think that Wizards does a, does a bad job in their set design, the, the top 1% of cards, or I guess like, like 5% of cards, are just so much better than everything else, Hazard, Scarab God, etc, etc, and like, you kind of just like have to play them and then they just kind of push you in this big mid rangey direction and like I don't know I'm also someone who like is biased I just don't I just don't like mid range decks but alright what's this card do 7 loyalty plus to draw 2 cards minus to deal 10 damage to a creature or planeswalker Minus four to put our creature Planeswalker from my graveyard onto the battlefield. And then 12 win the game. Yeah. And get back Nickel Bowls. That's a flavor fail. They could still be a Johnny. All right, I mean, I guess we're just dead. Nice emblem. So, Johnny emblem, I kind of just assumed it was game over. It uh, wasn't even close, actually. So, that's fine. We need to reevaluate. What? Okay. Um... Alcohol reset up. Thank you very much. We're going to want like some number of negates. And I guess he's Thopter arrests. We're going to cut those crappy baffling ends. If I'm not back in five minutes, <sighs> just wait longer. I want that many negates. Cut like two cartouche, maybe. 
something like this. Holy crap, dude. This Gideon seems good also. This is a, a hard to kill threat. Hmm. Problem is if we shave auras, then novice knight gets worse. Let's maybe let's shave one novice knight. I'm not really sure. What a demoralizing loss. Jeez. Just devastatingly demoralizing. Alright, let's go. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna keep. Dondo Vanguard is sweet. That's top. Inferno Blaziken. Inferno, what's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? Puppy name, please. New sub. What's up, my friend? Uh, I think Dathna is very, very bad. It's a 2-2 two, two for 3. And it's, it requires way too much help to do anything good. Duress. No, our hand is so good. Our hand was so good. We had Curiosity, Cartouche, Dive Down back up. And now we got nothing. Holy crap, dude. Thanks for following everyone. You used to call me Thanks, Blaze again, appreciate it. Jeez. Thanks for following everyone. Look, look at all these crazy people. You're all insane. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Beanie Combat. I don't think there's a card that can kill this for three mana that doesn't get around the destructibles. I'm going to cycle. Fatal Push the Warrior. You got it, friend. My warrior is dead. Blaze again is um, Lawrence from South Africa. Sweet. Favorite card is Hi, Gav, Guru of Spores. Favorite deck is Hollowed One. Puppy name, Lil Jimmy. Sweet. Yes, Tan, I don't want to get a puppy. I know your dog pooped everywhere what again. <laughs> Why would you want a pooping beast in your house? I don't understand. Popski, fire away. I mean, if we can protect against Contempt, this Vanguard might just go coast to coast. Yeah, Tanim, that's disgusting. Bork, bork, bork. Pay for life counter? Eh. Not feeling it right now. Duress again? <laughs> Stop duressing me. Now we're in trouble, because now I just can tempt this and we lose. So let's draw a negate or dive down or something. Holy crap, dude. I have a bad feeling about this next turn. A bad, bad feeling. I'm just following everyone. Jeez. Follow Brigade over here. And they know our hand. Mana Legion landing, looking for more upside. I mean, this is this is not particularly fun. I mean, my opponent's deck is literally just a pile of removal spells, and I just don't think we can win. 
<laughs> Everyone's following. That's great. How does everyone feel about the follow the follow gifts? I'm starting to think like maybe I should just have a nice clean like blah has followed. You know, the follow gifts are fun. Um, I try to have a lot of them so for some variety, but I feel like they're kind of just annoying now. I just have so many followers following me all the time. You know, what do you guys think? I mean, this is like I can't cast this like. <laughs> Ephra busted. It's a good run. All right, poll time. Do you like the follow gifts? Yes or no? Poll 60, yes, no. Do you like the follow gifts? Yes or no? Oh, look, Nickel back Balls. In five minutes. I'm done. Just wait I don't play longer. anymore. Do you like the follow gifts? Do they improve your enjoyment of the stream? Yes or no? I'm starting to lean towards no. I put a lot of work into them, but I don't know. All right, well, that wasn't very fun. We just got shit stomped. Um, not very fun. Let's get rid of the sound. Well, I have a sound, like, what's the point of having the image then, you know? We're 0-2. We're um, not a good start. We lost to a blue-white God Pharaoh's gift deck. We uh, mulled to five game three and didn't draw any counter spells. And we just got destroyed by Grixis. It was not even close. We ultimated Johnny in game one, lost anyway. And then we just got destroyed in game two. Double duress for my dive down and then contempt on my Vanguard. Just couldn't win. All right, I that's two to it's two point five to one, or no two two to one point five one point five to one, uh, nose to yes. I think I'm gonna change that when we move. Make it a little cleaner and nicer, you know, a little more professional. I like to keep things professional here on the stream, kind of sometimes. God, those those all those matches were so disheartening. I was pretty excited about this deck. I thought that novice knight seemed great. The problem is there's just so much removal in this format. Like, our opponent's deck was literally 20 removal spells, Scarab God, and Nickel Bulls. And, like, we just couldn't do anything. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, we're good. Restart. We're gonna try again. We're fine. We got a good curve here. We draw a blue source. Everything's great. Keep. Sand is insane. We draw a blue source. Swamp. Zambies. Zambies. Zomber. 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 Mur. 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 While waiting for our opponent, I'm going to remind everybody to check out my YouTube channel. Uh, we got a pretty sweet YouTube channel up here, Jim Davis MTG, or youtube.com slash jimdavismtg. Tons of stuff on here. We got standard, modern, legacy, pre-release guides, brawl, some story times, all my future matches, all my deck techs, John Jim show. you never seen a John Jim show, it's pretty awesome. Me and John play Cuphead. Pretty sweet, right? It's a lot of fun. We got uh, Magic Pro StarCraft Pro. StarCraft's my my casual game of choice. Uh, I love playing StarCraft. I'm not that good. I'm like Platinum 1. But definitely enjoy playing. Uh, it's my game that I watch the most and that I enjoy watching the most. I've played StarCraft since I was like 10. Um, Magic Pro StarCraft Pro. You get to watch me flounder around and other stuff. Also, my Versus videos and a few other fun things. This is a really fun stream I did a while back um, for the anniversary of... Diablo 1. I did an entire playthrough of the whole game straight through. Uh, lit some candles. Very, very fun stream. Check it out.
on the YouTube channel. All right, Dragon Skull Summit, go. All right. Cool. Planes. I heard things about Mono Black God Pharaoh's gift. Could be a thing. I think starring should be banned, yes. Um, the thing is that with Adanto Vanguard and Defense, like most of the goal is to make it so most of your auras can trip. We play Saram, play an obsession, draw a card, they kill it, we're even. And the, the upside is huge. Also, Adanto Vanguard's a great like bogle basically to target. Um Blue Cartouche replaces itself. White Cartouche makes token. It's not like we're trying to make a 10-10 here. You know, we're just trying to kind of keep things going, draw cards, play stuff, keep things going, etc., etc. So. Yeah. Mono Black God for Oz gift. That new uh, one drop, Stitcher's, uh, Stitcher's something, is pretty cool. It's a cool card. It's a 1-1 one, one for one black... Comes into play in mill three when it dies, you mill three. Our opponent is being very rude. Well, while waiting for our opponent again, hop on Twitter. Check me out at Jim Davis MTG. I'm going for 10,000 followers on Twitter at Jim Davis MTG. I post all sorts of fun stuff about streaming and magic and all sorts of stuff. Check that out. A uh, little hockey stuff too in there. Also, check out Team BCW, my squad. There we are. Ross is hiding off the screen. There's Ross. And, um, we have an event this Friday at TJ Collectibles in Milford. Uh, it's right near SCG Worcester on Friday night before the tournament. If you're going to be in town on Friday night, come down to TJ Collectibles, hang out with me, Todd Stevens, and Tan and Grace. Get a free pack of Death Guard Elites for showing up, the excellent sleeves BCW uses. And then um, get to play us, you get to challenge us to a game. If you win, you get prizes. A lot of fun, free to play. And um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Check that out. Follow Team BCW for more updates on Twitter. On our opponent, finally let our spell resolve. Cool. What's my favorite film from 2008? I don't know. What the hell films were released that year? How about a Blue Land? How about it? Saram. Wooster. Tannen and I will be going to the Red Sox game. Uh, that's tomorrow night. Jeez, tomorrow night. Where does time go? Uh, tomorrow night with uh, our, one, of our, one of our stream moderators, G Lavamancer and Jonathan Job. It's Job, right, Tannen? Job, not Job. Job. New houses in South Carolina and Bluffton. Go Sox. Go whoever the Sox are playing. Tannen, I want to wear my Yankee shirt. But I need to know that you, G Lavamancer, and Joe have my back if some, some shit goes down, you know? Oh, it's obviously the Dark Knight. It's not even close. All right, a braid targeting Saram. See, here we go. So we cast an aura. Got a cantrip. It's great. This is dope. Adonto Vanguard is the big draw of his deck, honestly. Do I throw my keyboard against the wall? My opponents slow play this badly. No, I just I just shrill for my own things and promote my Twitter and stuff. That's a good draw. Island is pretty great. Uh, Costag, it sounds cool. I don't play many other games, honestly. I just don't have time. Like, StarCraft is my casual game of choice. I get to play maybe once a month. You know, like, I'm just so busy. You know, between Nicole and John and streaming and writing articles and traveling and the new house stuff and the wedding stuff, it just, I just don't have any time for anything. Iron Man was good. I would not say it was a great movie. It was a good superhero movie. But yeah, Dark Knight was a good movie. Probably won't get into a fight. I will get laughed at. I mean, I wore a um, a Yankees shirt to a Blue Jays game. I mean, a, a Baltimore Orioles game in Camden Yards when the Yankees were playing there. 
They have contempt, obviously, because they always have contempt. Thanks, Tannen. Appreciate that. All right. Well, <laughs> Tannen, you're going to throw your voice? That's good. All right, so I assume we're getting contempted here, which sucks. No? Wow. I'm stunned. New sub! Uh, ki Kiwiest... Kiwiest V. Kiwi. Kiwi, what's up, my friend? What's your name? Where are you from? How long have you been playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important. What's your name? Where are you from? Puppy name, please... I don't want to cast anything else. They have like our devastation or something that would be terrible. I'm just gonna chill and cycle this farmland. Ant-Man was fine. I didn't see the new one yet. Chandra, Torch of Defiance. Okay. You got it, friend. Add red, red. Sure. This better be really, really good. Whatever it is. The thing is, I'm just so charming and entertaining that it works out. Ooh, that's fun. Okay. Pawn's just, like, dead on board, but... They're casting Planeswalkers. May discard a card, sure. I like what's happening here. We're doing stuff. Don't even discard, sure. All right. Uh, TV is Ryan from Chicago. Favorite card is Woodland Bellower. Favorite deck is Mr. Toad's Wild Ride puppy name... I don't need a puppy tearing up my new house. That's what I'm saying. All right. I'm going to go off and have a little fun here. If that's okay with you, fine folks. Deadpool was good. I enjoyed Deadpool. Deadpool was a lot of fun. Obsession. Haven't seen a new Deadpool yet. I think they're dead, right? Four, eight. It's ten, right? Close game, I guess. Logan was also good. All right. Uh, opponent is playing. Some removal spells and some planeswalkers, and I assume some dragons also. Uh, we're going to cut our baffling ends. We're going to cut... I don't even know what we want. I guess we want... What dragons are there? Like, kind of wish we had some essence scatters in our board, honestly. I agree, no dog. That's what I'm saying. Let me just this. Bring in Gideon. Cut like one Legion's Landing or something. Let's try this. Oh. Lander. Don't do this to me. Point of mulligans. We mulligan. We keep. This hand's good if we draw an aura. First standard league. Um, we played goblins and went one and four. Uh, goblins is not very good in standard. We tried. We really tried. All right. But it's not really there. You know, it's not really there.
Sensor? No. Sensor's not very good. How is Zombies? I have no idea. Seems cool. I This is my second standard league in this, in this format, so it's I got nothing for you. All I got is a Danto Vanguard here. And I just hope I'm going to draw a, uh, a one mana aura next turn, because that would be dope. Shield Mare? Nah, we're not, we're not really about that. That's a defensive card. DWO! Oh, hell yeah. Can I get a hell yeah? I guess our opponent just has all dragons in their deck. Because they just never cast any spells. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, now we can cast a Johnny on time. Gnome Leader, what's up my friend? Welcome to the stream. Um, it's on the overlay. You can also type in explanation point decklist, just like Devouring Abyss did. Thanks, Devouring Abyss. Sky Marcher, Aspirant, Farmland. I believe I will defend with... Actually, maybe I won't defend with Dive Down. Johnny's the main deck card. I mean, I guess I'm going to assume Veracity Contempt and not cast a Johnny and just attack. Again. The old O2 bracket. Curious Obsession is the best aura in the deck. I you really I don't think you can play this deck without blue. It's gotta be blue white. Is there a wrath? I guess there's the hour devastation. Should I hold back a little bit? I mean a Johnny is good post wrath. I don't have any auras for for novice knight. I'm gonna play one guy. So there you go. If you get three for one by hour, we'll just a Johnny back, a Donto Vanguard, and keep trucking. Glory Bringer. Okay, um, I think our opponent's dead. I think we're gonna defend. Oh, they're killing that. That's fine. I don't care about that. Sure. I can't even attack with it yet. This is fine. Hmm. Okay, it's the wrong time. And I would like to draw a blue source off of this, if possible. It's not likely, but all right, that's still fun. Oh wait, I forgot about the cartouche draw too. Nope. Any white source would be great there too, but this is fun. They have another glory bringer. Things get interesting, but Adondo Vanguard's pretty uh pretty tough at the moment. Isn't Dauntless Bodyguard straight better than Novice Knight? No, because it dies to Goblin Chain Whirler. One of the best cards in the format. Sky Marcher Aspirant is probably the best one drop in a vacuum for the deck. But again, Chain Whirler is the problem. We this deck ascends very, very quickly. Angrath, the Flame Chained. Killer in me, resub. Thank you. The killer in you is the killer in me. Well, they get to kill our... our... thingy, but then they just die. Probably. Oh yeah, they're dead to, uh... They're dead to a Johnny. So let's just draw a land, so we can... a Johnny plus dive down and kill them. Cool. Cool? Cool. Huh. 
The, the cartouche fell off because the cartouche is enchant creature you control. After arrest. Um. So if we go for a Johnny and they have fatal push, we could definitely lose this game. If we go for, we could just go for cartouche and try and draw an aura. And if we don't, we can just stop to arrest the glory bringer and put them to one, I guess. Yeah, let's do that, I guess. I mean, if they have a push, they have to target the Saram on their turn, right? There's no way they would let us. I'm just going to try and kill them. I just cannot believe that they have Fatal Push in their end. I have mixed feelings on a Johnny. I'm not sure yet. It seems good, but... We lost everything. So either our opponent in the O2 bracket is terrible at evaluating threats and just didn't kill the Saram, or they're a stone cold master and just game the shit out of us. Either way, it doesn't feel good. I'm going to dump the landing. Johnny goes to... Attack, exert. Johnny goes to one. I need a creature. I, like... I, I couldn't... Couldn't fathom why you would let me untap and cast spells with, with Saram up. Like... You just draw cards off Saram. Don't let you know your opponent do that. It's a bad idea. All right. What the hell is this? What costs six mana? What else but Dragon Queen? All right. What do we got here? Another Saram. I guess we need to kill the Dragon Queen. What's this? Minus three. All right. We'll discard Saram, I guess. I mean, technically we have lethal, right? Wow. That was unbelievable. I'm still in shock. Still in total and utter shock.
So yeah, I mean, I, I guess that turn... I should just cast the aura. What is this card? Demanding, demanding Dragon enters the battlefield, deals 5 damage to our opponent, unless that player sacrifices a creature. Yeah, we just can't win now. I mean, I don't... Yeah, we gotta... Take 5 and draw our removal spell, I guess. Okay. Okay. Let's not lose to this dragon deck. I would, I would appreciate that if we could not lose to the dragon deck. Um, yeah, we're still good here. New standard, Wild Wild West. Selma Hayek. I think the new 3-drop Angel is pretty bad, honestly. I think it's just like, basically a 3-3 flyer for 3. I think most of it's, uh, most of it's text is going to be irrelevant most of the time. It's so demanding. Man, brutal. Brutal, 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 brutal. Um, the Ajani is in the on Sarah's wing slot. I I think Ajani's really good. I, I'm not sure. It's been like fine. It I mean, ultimate at one game and just got destroyed by Grixis because all our cards are just so stupidly good. And then it was pretty good that game. We just punted, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure. On Sarah's Wings is pretty cool. Definitely good on, like, Knight of Grace or Danto Vanguard, but... Alright, let's we'll just win here. Alright. This hand is a little soft to uh, a one-mana removal spell, but... They have to have the mana to cast it on turn one, too, and not play a tap land, so... Cool. Cinder Barons. It's a good card. Ooh, Novice Knights. Kind of cool. Obsession. See, so the goal here is that even if we get two for one, we get a card back. So it's the same thing. So the goal is that most of our ores replace themselves and we, uh, when they when they don't get killed, we just win the game easily. So, ooh. militia bugler is cool. I think a card's good. Uh, I'm not sure where it goes yet, but I think it's it's a good card. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna cartouche the novice knight. We might get two for one, but if we do, then our this is gonna hit unless they have two one mana removal spells, which is pretty unlikely. So I'm okay giving it a shot. opponent is exceedingly slow. Fatal push after cartouching. It's just the... Come on, they have both removal spells too. The timing, you know, the time when you just, you just play stuff at all the wrong times and your opponent never knows how to react. Obviously, they should have killed the thing in response to the aura. Like, <sighs> I 
this has been pretty frustrating. I haven't thought about post rotation. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I think we can safely assume our opponent is not a master from last game. Duress has been very good against us, too. Chandra. Varix Bladewing. I don't think we can actually beat a 4-4, given the current emptiness of our hand. Um... No, Snook, we only play competitive leagues here, all right? Only competitive. I don't care how bad our deck is. We only play competitive leagues. Yeah, I mean, the one mana interaction is, is basically the bane of this deck. Like, double push duress, hitting all of our stuff early. Like, the one of the biggest draws to this deck is that all of our cards cost one and two. Um... All right, we're coming in. Doctor Doom, I couldn't care less. People are just gonna say I'm people just say I'm slow in Twitch chat now because it's like the thing to say. Like um, I don't, I have that was my first draw in like a year and a half. You know, like I couldn't care less. All right, we're probably paying a lot of life here. Cool. Draw a card. Sweet. Cartouche. Sweet. Okay. Doing stuff now. <laughs> Thanks for all my friends. God. Chimney yeah. Salt. This is game three. Do 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 We're pretty uh we're pretty concerned with like rest contempt. We can't actually beat it at this point, I don't think. We're just shoving. Good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Barracks Blading has no interest in doing anything. It's not going to attack. It's not going to block. Just, just going to chill. All right. Now we're going to team with everything and just flip this Legion's Landing, I think.
Uh oh. Man, what a miserable match to watch. I'm sorry, everyone. This has just been the most miserable match I think I've played on stream in like six months. My opponent is playing really badly, really slowly. Like... We played really bad last in the first game, I guess, to punt. Cast down. Pay for life. Mm. Indestructible. Cool. Cycle. Sure. Sure. Go to one. Is it one? My bad at math. Yes, yeah, one. Um, I'm just gonna play stuff like whatever. I mean, we have a a Dante the first fort, and they're at one, so they cast a wrath. We just kill them. So, whatever. Boris Charm. Looking forward to dinner. That's nice. It's over. We did it. We're one and two. If you're sitting here, welcome to the stream. My name's Jim Davis. We're playing uh, an update to my Saram, or Sram? How do you say it? Sram, Sram, Saram, Sram, Sram Aura's deck. This is my deck from a while back. Um, and uh, we add some new cards to it. Novice Knight. It's been mostly good. Um, we added a Johnny Adversary of Tyrants. And we added Shieldmare. We are one and two. We lost to Blue White God Pharaoh's Gift. Didn't really see any gates in our post board games. And then we lost to Grixis, 20 removal spells, and Nickel Boss. Which is kind of tilting. Here we are. Two matches left. Then it's dinner time. Then I have to write, I have to, I have to write an article. Then I have to pack my trip. Then I have to leave tomorrow morning. Life's great. Life is good. Busy but good. How much do you have to donate for me to play my opponent's deck? I build a dragon deck. I think that Banefire is going to be pretty important. Um, we played a goblin deck last league. I think Banefire would have improved it a lot. Um, hmm, that's the thing. SCG Worcester this weekend. I'm going a day early. We're going to a Red Sox game uh, tomorrow night. All right. All right. I guess we got to keep that. It's going to be Grixis again. Ugh. SCG Wooster. It is uh, Wooster, Massachusetts, about an hour west of Boston. Saram Dunk. Oh, my God. Please don't Essence Scatter me. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. So we got more God Pharaoh's gift decks, maybe. We'd love to draw any one mana aura next turn. That's what I would like to draw. A one mana aura. I suppose the novice knights are a little awkward because you do want to put your auras on your creatures that are easier to protect, like a Danto Vanguard or Knight of Grace. Um, in this game, like it's looking pretty bad, honestly, because we just can't attack with it. I guess I didn't really need to do that, but I guess they, I don't want them to chump block. I'm not sure. What's up, Darth Butt Pounder? What's up, Pretty Lights? 
M19 standard, um, a lot of Grixis Nickel Bolas decks. What's up, Amalek? Resub, Amalek, thank you, I appreciate that. A Chupacab. Huh? <sighs> yes, we, we ultimated a Johnny and then just lost anyway to Nicol Bolas, Liliana, Scarab God, etc. Um, I don't think I want to save my Novice Knight. I just don't think it matters. Almost two years. Amalek, thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate it. You're all great. Even through a kill spell, are a Johnny uh, will survive? So I'm more than fine just attacking. If they want to kill my novice knight, it's fine. Bant, uh, three colors in the standard is pretty rough. All right, so they have the contempt, which is fine. I mean, Knight of Grace is really, really good against these decks, and uh, might just go coast to coast here. J-Mac, I actually played golf yesterday for the first time this year. And um, I played like five times last year. Just haven't had time at all. I wanted to get one round in before I left. So I went and played some golf. And uh, it was a lot of fun. I shot terribly. I haven't played in forever. I totally had to practice. But I had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. Obsession. So now... Like, this is what I'm saying with Novice Knight. So, I would love to put the Obsession on anything but Novice Knight, but I also want to attack with Novice Knight. So, I'm actually... I'm starting to feel the Novice Knight a little bit less. Um, I played I played a full 18. We, we, we walk 18. I shot 103, which is definitely worse than I usually would. But So, like... Again, the problem is that we're, we're having to put... Like, I... If Obsession is on Knight of Grace, I don't think they can kill it. They can't Chupacabra it, they can't Contempt it, they can't etc, etc it. Like, I think it just has to go on the on the Knight. I think I can't put it on Novice Knight. Attack. Let them kill it next turn and just like... Just dies to everything. Yes, I'm a, I'm a little off Novice Knight, I'm not gonna lie. It seems like there is so much removal in the format that it might not actually be good. But yes, there are many, many golf courses near my new house. Um, I pass by four of them every time I drive from my new house to Lowe's to get stuff for the house. Um, I pass by four courses there, four courses back, and I've been to Lowe's many, many, many times. Liliana, Death's Majesty. Okay. Reanimate Scarab God. Okay. That is not a blue cartouche. This card just go away. Like, attack them with Knight of Grace. They go to four. I draw a card, and then what? Chupacabra kills anything else. Nothing can attack anymore. They have a, they have a Liliana. This is just gross. This does not feel good. Jace Cunning Castaway is not a very good magic card. It's also very hard to cast. So that's not a card we want in our deck. A 
That's interesting. Choosing to play Champion of Wits over Scarab God back a Chupacabra. I guess there's nothing to play Chupacabra. Discard Fedipool Siphoner, play a land. How about a blue cartouche? Can we do that? Could we? No? Saram? Okay. If we attack with knight, they block with champion, and they just get it back next turn. But I guess we have to attack, because we'll, we'll, we'll lose our enchantment, so... Alright, here we go. Murder. That's pretty fine. Yeah, we're one and two. It's not going very well. There's just so many damn re removal spells in this format. I like this deck a lot, but there's just so many removal spells. We lose two because Scarab God's a zombie also. Blue Cartouche. I guess that's five. Nope, it's four. We played Goblins in Standard. We went one and four. The deck was really bad. I'm not going to lie. Wouldn't lie to you. And we're just we're just dead. Whatever. <sighs> Spell Pierce does not counter Scarab God or Chupacabra. It's also just not very good. All right. I mean, I don't know what to tell y'all. Scarab God's kind of dumb. You're bringing in some Thopter arrests. I don't really want that many negates because they just have a lot of creatures. Just rough. Just a, just a rough, rough world out there. I caught a novice knight. It's a rough world out there, my friends. We're trying to uh, saram some people. And uh, it's just a, a rough world. Alright. This hand is pretty aggro. Let's keep... Marching. How do I feel about mono red combo with a bunch of ramp, burn, apex of power, and oracles vault, chaos wind, paradox engine? I don't know what any of those cards do. What's what's the combo? <laughs> I guess we're just landing, landing here. It's fine. Like they, they probably have that stupid mayor card that that gives that just like the black chain whirler. Um, I think that, I mean, Nicol Bolas is driving the Grixis decks for sure. That's pretty good. Do I get to attack? I do. They definitely have the stupid mare thing. Yeah, for sure. How did you get here? We entered a contest. Yeah, we lost. <laughs> Why 
Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza. Thanks for following, my friends. No? Wow. So you're saying there's a chance. Um, I don't like the idea of firing off this cartouche right now. I'm just going to fire up and get in. Let's go. Make a token end step. Could chef at dunes, but I don't think we're really at that point. Wow. This is, uh... This is something else. They're just dead. They're just not doing anything. This is awesome. Why couldn't all of our opponents do this? Just not do anything. I think they're just dead now. At six, Knight of Grace. If I just do the thingy, they die, right? If they block, yeah, it's dead. All right, that's cool. Weird games. Uh, Gideon's pretty good. Very weird games. Very, very peculiar. I didn't play any novice knights, that's true. Come on, why you gotta do this to me? Why? Alright, Mulligan. Keep bottom. Okay, we're gonna lead on Sky Marcher. Yeah, Novice Knight just seems pretty bad against like the super heavy removal decks, which is all we've played against so far, so. Seems like ideal for the deck. The, again, the biggest problem I'm having is, is that a lot of the time I have a Novice Knight and an Aura and a durable creature in play, like a pro black creature or a Danto Vanguard, and I want to enchant the durable creature, not the Novice Knight. So... Most it's most mostly because we're playing against black removal, not red removal. If um normally novice knight against a red deck, you go to four toughness, they can't lightning strike it anymore, you know? Yeah, yeah, we need an experienced knight. Alright, let's draw a land here. Essence scatter, fetid pools. Land. Untapped. All right, now, now we're a little better shape. So, like, here I would like to enchant the Sky Marcher, but I obviously can't, so it's whatever. <laughs> I guess I could just leave Sky Marcher back. One, two, three. We have eight permanents. Maybe we just leave Sky Marcher back. I think flying is actually pretty important. And we can just probably we can get flying next turn. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We'll save Chupacabra. Eight. Well, they didn't kill Saram, so that's great. Um, Knight of Grace. Hmm. Alright, we, we boarded out one knight. We've drawn all three of them in our first, like, ten cards, obviously. Which is pretty annoying, but... Oh, come on. We drew a land there. We could have had... Could have had flying. I feel like we've been running pretty cold, unfortunately. Siren Storm Tamer is just terrible on the mana and just not very good. Siphoner, sure. Damn it. Okay. 
Got to hold Thopter rest for Scarab God. We can't just hit a Siphoner. Hmm. Yeah. All our stuff died. All their stuff died too, I guess. So we do have Thopter Arrest and a backup Saram, so it's not that bad. But draw a blue source, please. Thank you. I mean, they got two guards left. We got a hold. Oh, Sal, you should you should be poking the bear and trying to get me to, trying to get me to salt off. That's the fun part. I'm here for your entertainment, you know. Just another chupacabra, another contempt. God, I'm getting really hungry. I am starting to feel the. Like the Snickers, I need a Snickers bar, crankiness coming in. I am starving. I haven't really eaten all day. God fucking damn it. Oh, that's, that's a dope one. All right, let's go. Next turn we double obsession and they can't even, uh, this actually, that was insane. I think we actually might be uh, ready to go here. We can beat Scarab God with Thopter Rest. What the hell is this? Oh, sure. Discard two. Obsession. We wanted to get really greedy. We could obsession twice, arrest the token, and just get in and make ensure that we draw two. If we obsession twice now. There's no way they don't just chump block and they have another champion of wits in the graveyard. Alright, whatever. We're doing it. They're obviously playing Scarab God next turn, but whatever. <laughs> All the bad things that have happened to us so far this this uh this stream Swimmy Dude says, speaking of which, I have to talk about the one of the times where Jim was on camera in Atlanta. He played against the player who goes to my local game store. I felt bad because the guy played extremely slow and he tried to tap mox open. It wasn't legal to do so. It wasn't the first time he did it in a tournament. Ended up drawing. Yeah, that draw sucked. Oh, man. Siphoner sucks. Siphoner means that uh, now they can block. So I don't even think I, I, I rest this, uh, this champion of wits. Because I now, like, I don't even know. Arrest champion, they chump with Siphoner, they cast Scarab God. Yeah, I think we have to save the arrest. It's first draw. Yeah, we, we, can, we can attack safely. So 
Dramore's got Nuijani and uh, Novice Knight, who's been medium. I mean, this is a real big Knight of Grace um, that they have to deal with, and they cannot necessarily deal with. They've just drawn like 10 new cards, so. Okay. Okay. Uh, seems kind of juicy. No, siphoner. Okay. We draw blue cartouche. Did I board out blue cartouches? No, I didn't board any blue cartouches out. Dado Vanguard double siphoner. Good lord. I'm just gonna chump a chupacabra. We're holding on here. I mean, Knight of Grace is really pulling its weight, but I don't think we can ever actually get through. I mean, they we have to draw the blue cartouche. We've already drawn two of them. Like, there's just so many blockers. You're scared of God. Argyle's blood vest. Okay. It's a good thing we get to use our Thopter arrest now, I suppose. Actually. No, I think they get something back. Alright. I need Pegasus Courser. Where's my Pegasus Courser? I don't think we can win, honestly. They're under arrest. For being the only guy that's actually good. I should drink some water. You're right, hydrate hydration bot. You're right. That's gone. We attack. The Armageddon enchantment? That's kind of cool. That could be a thing, maybe. This poor Knight of Grace is just like the most heroic Knight of Grace to ever live. Like, this, this, this dude's for real. And he just keeps running into a zombie every turn. <laughs> He is trying his best. He's doing pretty good. But pretty good does not seem to be good enough. Yeah, opponents uh, probably going to win this game. They've drawn about 15 more cards than me. No attacks. Hmm. Another Legion's Landing? Hmm. Four four Chupacabra. Bloodfast is gonna flip. Three, four, six.
I'm cracking dunes, they just make they just like chump with two guys, it doesn't even matter. Chump with three guys, whatever. Just... I mean Wow. Just going to one? <laughs> I F6, but then I un F6, and they thought I F6. That's funny. You suck. Oh my god. Alright, I can't go to actual four, so I guess they've got me this time. I think we're just dead. Now they flip blood fast, they can gain life. This is this is brutal. This has been a brutal league, my friends. I don't know how much more of this I can take. We have a turn for what? Like we have to draw I guess just a blue enchantment. If we draw a cartouche of knowledge, we can win. Cartouche of knowledge. Come on. F6. Attack. Okay. Blue. Four. God damn it. They get to contempt one of a creature to gain two and then gain six off of the the gear hulk. Which you lose anyway. Alright, we draw we draw some cards at least. Whoa, 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 not F6, not F6. On F6, on F6. Legion's Landing. Saram. Alright. We're still playing, I guess. We're dead to basically anything. Holy crap, dude! They were dead. Yeah. Liliana bounced the the thingy or whatever. I don't know. Man, what a tease! You know, I thought we had it. I thought we stole it.
What are you waiting for? Just kill us. Alright. I'd rather have not drawn it, you know? This has been brutal. This has been actually completely brutal. Um, we played against all Veracity Contempt decks, and they've been destroying us. We finish our leagues here on stream. Wouldn't I have gone to one? I was at eight, and there was a bunch of two power attackers. There's two four fours and four two twos. Oh, you're right. I would have gained a life. They all menace, though. Uh, I think you're right. I think I just screwed up. Ugh. I was just so tilted. Um. But they could have. Let's see. They were at two to four. Yeah, I think I might have screwed up. They could have gained five life with their thingy and they gained two off contempt. So they were at four and they were they were at nine. I would have had to have drawn a way to deal a few extra points of damage uh, anyway. But yeah. Someone asked how res res resistant to tilt I was and clearly not resistant enough. Um, all right. Mulligan, keep. Standard turns, probably not. Let's go to the videotape. No, not that. So they attack. So they were at four. Yeah, because they had, so they're at four and I have seven power and they can gain five life and go to nine, I would have to produce two extra points of power, which have been almost impossible because no card in the deck can produce two points of power except for a John. Now Johnny can't do it either. Um, yeah, so it, it didn't matter. I was just dead. Um, uh, yeah. So I, 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 was, I, I was dead anyway. I guess if I, I could have drawn like blue by the the case blue cartouche into a pump spell. I I only had five mana, so I couldn't have drawn Chef of Dunes or anything. Thanks for following. Oh, we're gonna bottom that. Scissor says six months ago there was a clip of me during a match and my teammates is clearly dead. Uh yeah, I mean I don't know. I'm not gonna whatever. Huh. <sighs> Mountain? Who plays mountains? So yes, I was disheartened. I lost faith. I'm sorry, my friends. SCG Philly, maybe? I don't remember. Didn't I only have five mana? Why is everyone playing black? Heart of Kieran. Ooh, what's, what's this? Something different. Cool. Something different and exciting and new and fun. Our opponent's not just playing 25 removal spells. Let's go. Uh-oh. I forgot about Chain Whirler. I shouldn't have cast that Sky Marcher Aspirant. <sighs> Never punished. Braid Knight of Grace. All right. That thing he flips. No problem playing more vanguards. Hazard? Phoenix? Hazard. All right. 
Um, dive down. Crew block three six seven. Transparent mountains. Yeah, I've seen better art. All right, so they crew. Okay, this is fun. We're going to post combat. Baffling end. And then we have, there are two. We have two lethal attackers and a dive down. Seems pretty good. Chain of Willard doesn't even matter, I don't think. Karn is not that good. Karn was pretty overrated. Karn's only really good if you're playing a lot of artifacts and uh, your, your make construct thing is making 4-4s. Four Alright, four well, a lot of these... We need to cut, um, what do we cut here? Jeez, that's a lot of cards to bring in. Uh, a Johnny doesn't seem very good in this matchup. I mean, a Johnny's, a Johnny seems pretty medium, honestly. I'm not really sure about how sure I am about. Uh, we're gonna cut the Sky Marcher Aspirants because they just had a Chain Whirler. I'm gonna shave a Legion's Landing too, same reason. Um, I think we don't want Fragmentize. Maybe authority is also. I don't know about authority. Hmm. It's kind of weird. I'm not sure what to bring in here. Another landing. Uh. I don't want to cut all of the auras. I want to cut some auras, I guess. What's up, Xerox? No, this is not a 24 hour stream. This is the last match of a stream. Eight hours so far. I mean, Novice Knight seems very good in this matchup, like... I think. Can we go Shave 1? And maybe we'll leave one Fragmentize in the board. I don't want to overload our Fragmentizes. Let's try this. Mm, this is a good end. Keep. A lot of twos, but it's good. No one drop, nice. Another two, meh. Hard curing again. All right, it's kind of annoying because I want to fragmentize. We obviously are off curve if we do that. We really uh, need to draw a land next turn. That comes into play untapped. Pia Noir. Alright. Not as bad as a uh, Chain Whirler. Alright, land please. That'll play. I'm fine with that actually. Whirly boy. That's kind of annoying. I feel like you should have been better off post combating that, but I guess it's obvious that they attack anyway. Alright, I'll pay for life. I'll block. Awkward. Um. This game is not going great. Vanguard is quickly becoming a liability. I guess we could just attack, honestly. If they block, I'll pay for life. I like paying for life. It's not blocking, so. Alright. Kind of want to Saram. Like Saram is the highest upside. 
And we need some upside right now because we're kind of in trouble. Good Lord. All right, I mean, we're dead. I mean, our hand here is not particularly good. Pretty good hand from our opponent. Our hand was kind of eh. Run that one back. Yeah, I'm. I between this format seems to be a. It's either you play against Goblin Chain Whirler decks or you play against decks playing a thousand black removal spells. And neither of those scenarios are very good for this deck. I, it's gonna be pretty hard to recommend this deck going forward. It was quite good when I first built it, and in various formats since. But this just seems like atrocious. This hand's also super awkward again. We're gonna keep. Gotta draw land. Maybe an aura. Arctic Urine's still really good. I kind of forgot about that card, you know? God damn it. I'm going for high upside again. I'm just playing the damn Saram. Sram. If they want to crew hard, they got to play something that... Sure. Cool with me. Papa! Papa Skeletor. You saw uh, Papa, what's your name? Where are you from? How long you playing Magic? Favorite card of all time? Favorite deck of all time? Most important, what's your name? Where are you from? And puppy name, please. Thanks, Papa. Welcome. Yeah, we're getting rid of the sound effects, I think. Is Hazard again? Chandra. Ugh. Yeah, I'm so hungry. I'm starving. Nicole, how's dinner looking? You promised me steak. I didn't ask for steak, but you promised me steak. This is pretty dope. I guess we're just going to, like, crew the heart and just throw it away. Curious Obsession. That's a pretty good draw. Um, I'm going to make it? What are you talking about? You said you were going to make it. I was just joking when I said you were going to screw it up. Jeez. Oh, man. We're ordering pizza. You better be joking. Papa Skeletor's Mike. Favorite deck of all time is Bug Landstill. Favorite card is Raven Guildmaster. That's the one four that flips when you bounce a bird, maybe? From Maryland, puppy name is Missile. Interesting. Okay, I'm glad you're kidding, Toots. 30 seconds, that's the best news I've heard in the last minute and a half. Steak? Oh, this is great. Everyone say thank you to Nicole for making a delicious steak dinner while I slave away in here on the internet. Playing magic for all you fine folks. Nice. This is great for us. We just trade four life for a heart of urine? We even gain a life back. That's a That's a good turn for us. Sure. Uh, we got this one, folks. I'm not going to say it's totally in the bag, but it's totally in the bag. This game is over. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. We're cooking now. Once I heard that steak was coming, I was like, yo, we gotta win. Let's go. Incoming hour devastation. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? That would be so sad if that happened. All right. Um. Yeah. I Honestly, I'm... I think we ran a little bad, but for the most part, there's just too many removal spells and too many chain whirlers in this format. Um, Johnny was medium. Novice Knight, I think is good in small numbers, but is not necessarily good as a four of. Also, you're going to play more auras, but you can't play more auras because all the auras beyond these suck, and there's so much removal in this format. My god. So, yeah, I don't know if I can recommend this stroke anymore. It's sweet, maybe work on it, but I'm pretty unimpressed. Medium rare, obviously. Come on, let's get real. But um, yeah. So that's the stream. That's the it's that's the YouTube video. Saram auras. I'm kind of sad, honestly. I like this deck, but that was rough. That was rough. So for watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, check out my other videos. Uh, Standard Goblins, Legacy Goblins, Modern Salt. I all sorts of stuff on there. Check it out on the YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you follow, and I'll see you next time.